hello beautiful people wonderful people welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be talking to you about communication in marriage communication in marriage if come if there is no uh, communication in marriage or poor communication in marriage it can actually lead to conflict in marriage so welcome back to my channel if you are new to this channel what are you waiting for subscribe to my channel this is a channel to learn a channel to grow a channel to build home and to build wealth and to my existing subscribers i say thank you so much thank you for being my subscribers for watching my videos and for remaining my subscribers so i'm gonna sing the song for this channel and the song says i am going higher oh i i i oh I am going My viewers, my subscribers, you are going all together, we are going higher. Oh, higher, oh, oh, higher, oh, higher. So, in marriage, a lot of things can communicate, can com a lot of things can lead to communication in marriage, good communication, and also leads to bad communication or poor communication in marriage. And if care is not taken, poor communication or no communication in marriage can actually lead to conflicts. So this sometimes people do, do spouse do wonder like, okay, we communicate. Actually, majority of spouse do not communicate about 75 percent of couples do not communicate on real purpose of marriage yes oh studies have shown that only limited numbers of couples actually communicate the actual purpose of marriage love and the purpose of marriage sometimes the spouse with why spouse do not talk about their mind they do not talk out their mind or they do not express about the, how they feel the need or what they know about each other they don't talk about it they only talk about let's pay the bills let's take the children to school or what how are we how are we going to do um the home what do, what do we need to buy at home yes care for the needs of the family does not mean that the couple actually communicated a lot of couples don't communicate what is necessary, what they need to communicate in marriage. And when one does not talk, it can lead to conflict in marriage. Communication is very, very important in marriage. But sometimes, if care is not taken, one, one of the spouse may just be commanding, directing, or informing during communication. And communication is not supposed to be command. It's not supposed to be direct, directing the other spouse, or it's not supposed to be informing the other spouse. Because before you can inform someone about what you want to do, you already made up your mind. So communication in marriage actually is supposed to be mutual communication and mutual agreement. So lack of communication in marriage can send wrong signal. Wrong signal can lead to wrong body language. So that is very important for couples to take note that what is communication in marriage? Communication in marriage is very different. Communication in marriage is about identifying the needs, the purpose of the marriage, and the and meeting the needs of the spouse in marriage. Yes, before the marriage, couples, they, are to, they, they were together. Before the children, they were together and after the children are grown and they are gone to their respective homes the couple will still live together so it depends on what you know about each other what you've communicated to each other so far for the number of years we, we build the strength and the power of the marriage and radiate the love 
when they are hold together that they are by some themselves so communication in marriage communication is very very important if communic if there if there is poor communication or no communication in marriage spouse may think like okay uh, my 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 spouse does not know what my needs not meeting my need does not want to talk to me or not listening to me wrong signal wrong body language it is very important there is no way we can rule emotion out of communication communication and emotion they are intertwined so very important for couple to develop improve fix marriage in the area of communication so to have a better communication in marriage if it has not been there before or if it is there and it's just poor communication it is very important for the spouse to identify the spouse communication pattern yes spouse communication pattern some couple they talk by head and to some it's very rude when either of the spouse is talking and the spouse is nodding so it is very important and necessary for the couples to identify the communication pattern, communication pattern of each other so that they better understand or how they, each of them responds to communication. Some couple, when they are communicating, one voice may be louder than the other spouse. And in some places, a loud voice is a wrong and rude attitude. So it is very important for couple to identify each other's communication pattern. And when you identify and understand that, you have to listen to each other. Very important. So to avoid conflict, communication causing conflict in marriage or to improve com communication in marriage, I'm going to be providing you seven tips today. Seven tips that you can use to identify your communication whether it is low or is medium or is at a high level or is poor or you need to improve it so number one thing is to be a respective listener a good listener tends to get listened to in returns if you are not a good listener you need to identify who is a good listener among both of you the husband or the wife who is a good listener in some home the wife is the good listener in some home the wife the husband is the good listener it is very important for the couple to identify who is a good listener who is listening more and who is actually paying attention to each other and passing the message across analyzing it make sure that the message is in a clear form very brief very short and paying attention to the purpose of the communication it is very important and number two is to be a genuine be genuinely interested on what the spouse is, is ready to say sometimes we communicate we don't listen to each other we do not have genuine interest in what the other party is saying it is very important because why you say you love him or her yes it is a choice so make it a choice to be interested in what your spouse is saying very important because spouse you 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 may turn your spouse out if care is not taken in communication because what your spouse is saying is not interested to you or is not about what you like but we all need to pay attention to each other and understand that each time we are communicating to each other it may not necessarily be what is the matter of interest to us but because of the love because of the choice to marry someone that we love and still remain with someone that we love we need to ensure that okay while we are communicating whether it's a matter of interest to each other or not we both genuinely pay attention and develop interest in that thing for the sake of love and to improve communication in marriage it is very important to reinforce the messages uh, in love it can be in form of notes like okay i'm looking forward to our date for friday or thank you for the lunch that you brought to me at work or the lunch that you packed for me to take to work 
it is very important those are the ways that we can uh, we can improve uh, communication in marriage a uh, amna appreciation tends to move love from the deep hidden place in the heart it is very important to appreciate to pay attention in communication and another thing is paying attention in communication it's it, it, attention does not mean like you are sitting beside your spouse you are listening yes attention is part of attention is making high contact part of attention is employing a uh, sense of touch sense of touch in a respective manner yes responsive let your your attitude during communication to be reflective of feedback that we encourage the communicator to continue to communicate um it is very important because you cannot avoid communication in marriage it is the very key very key to every decision that you make either personal decision or, or, or family decision it is communication is the key that forms the decision is the key that opens the door of good decision in marriage very important very very necessary to communicate another thing is to display good body language during communication smiles it's very important when your your spouse is communicating and you are smiling. It gives the, your partner the assurance to continue to keep communicating with you. Very necessary. And another thing is that to make good gestures. Good gestures. Good gestures. Some people they will do like shaking the head like a lizard doesn't mean that you are communicating. It's a, in fact, it's even wrong in some places. So a good nod of the head is a good body language of communication. So very important that we all make sure that we improve communication to avoid any issues in marriage. Number one thing is that form the, the basis of, 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 of conflict is when the communication is not there. Whatever they to live together in marriage require a lot of agreement. And in order to have a good sense of agreement, a mutual agreement, communication must be solid. For communication to be solid, if it's there is no time, if there is lack of time because of the schedule or work or family, or maybe the children are young and it takes a lot of time, so probably what you can do is to schedule a deeper conversation time. A deeper conversation time make it awesome or make 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 it awesome ongoing opportunity to 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 communicate to communicate maybe when the children are not there with or with the children as well it is very necessary to ensure that uh, communication flow in marriage another thing is that make each other include each other on the um, on all social media that, the list that you have if possible uh, very careful you need to be very careful in doing that because some women when they see something on the social media they come they turn into argument they turn it to uh conflict as well but with understanding because you do you all need we all need to live open life in marriage open life because communication that's why uh, every of the the couple will be together in agreement and even in everything god forbid if something happen uh the family will be able to pick up the pieces from where they are and move forward in a situation whereby the wife does not have access to the to the to the password to the account uh, because of poor communication or low communication it can lead to problem or does not know how to even pay the bills or does not even know um the the, the insurance up for the for the family things like that in some home the, the spouse one of the spouse is very very dominant taking care of everything keeping everything safe like okay you don't have to worry about that no that is a part of poor communication nothing should be hidden between husband and wife both of them should be able to know everything about each other through communication know that you are the major 
uh, uh, beneficiary for each other. Know what you are being beneficiary for. And do it with good mind because some women as well too, when they have opportunity to some information like that, makes them to feel like, okay, I think it's time to divorce this guy so I can get good portion of from this guy. Or sometimes the guy may even be selfish and be the one to say, okay, I think I need to, I need to get rid of this lady so that I can get uh, spousal support or something. That is not how it should be. If you love someone to be with someone, you have to respect every information that you know about the person. And to be a good respecter of information, it has to be a good listener. A good listener, somebody that is very patient and somebody that is very respectful with information and can manage information very well. In communication in marriage, communication in marriage has to do with a lot of sacrifice. A lot of sacrifice to be a good listener a lot of sacrifice to pay attention a lot of sacrifice to be each, to be there for each other and a lot of sacrifice and patience to process the world because one thing is for someone to communicate another thing is for good interpretation of the communication because if care is not taken the communication in marriage can turn to something that can lead to a huge argument and a huge fight so this is what I have for you today and thank you for listening to me. And if you're just new, you are joining this channel. What are you waiting for? Please subscribe to this channel. Uh, click the, uh, the, uh, the subscribe. Uh, press the notification bell. That way you can get notice each time I upload new videos. In my next video, I'll be discussing about the ethics. Ethics, because we are married, we still need to display some certain ethics during communication. Very important, we still have some ethics to display to each other. Uh, yes, as lovers, as husband and wife, yes, as partners, yes. There, there are some uh, communication ethics that we need to display for each other during communication. So I'm going to be singing uh, the song for this channel again to welcome the new um, viewers that are not been part of this channel to invite them to subscribe to this channel and also to thank my existing subscribers for being my subscriber for remaining my subscribers and the song is I am going you are going oh Yeah, thank you.